Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Dev. Uh, you wrote me about uh, your work, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna nutshell it for you, if you don't mind. Um, in a nutshell, especially working for a real small company, you have to be a really good coworker. Um, if you're a really good coworker, it doesn't really matter what you do. Um, it, you know, you could be drinking uh, on your YouTube channel. Um, some things will get broken while you're at work. Uh, accidents will happen. Um, but if your if your boss and your coworkers appreciate you, they're going to make sure things go you know go all right. Um, actually, at one point in time, I worked for a place that uh, I, I broke some of uh, our clients' uh, equipment uh, with a piece of my power equipment uh, accidentally. Um, and the guy, the guy that whose equipment I broke uh, was upset. Uh, my boss was upset, and I said, "Hey, I, I really appreciate um, what I did here." And uh, listen, we're getting off work early today. The job's pretty much done. I was gonna be, I was gonna stay behind actually and clean up a little bit anyway. But why don't I, uh, why don't I fix the stuff that broken today? Um, you know, I don't mind, uh, that way it's not coming out of anybody's pocket, and uh, really, I'm just grateful that, yeah, I had some runaway power equipment. I'm like, really, I'm just grateful I wasn't injured on the job, and I, it, it was, this was right after it happened, I'm like, this will give me an opportunity to kind of calm down and, and uh, get the jitters out of my system. And so, like, they went from, like, being really angry at me because I'd uh, made a mistake, uh, to actually kind of, like, contemplating the fact that I actually, I could have been hurt when I made this mistake, and it was a good thing that I wasn't. And uh, also they appreciate the fact that I said that I was going to stay there and take care of uh, the damage I made. And uh, it showed a certain amount of uh, trust on my employer's part too, because essentially I would be working on a job site uh, off the clock. Um, so uh, my boss was cool with it, the guy that uh, whose stuff I damaged was cool with it. And he actually, he was upset, but then he came back later and he brought me uh, um, some snacks and some drinks and stuff because it was freaking hot out. And uh, while I was finishing up, I was like, is there anything else around here that got uh, got scratched up or broken that I could fix? And there was, there was some stuff, and he was just going to, like, do it himself, but I had, like, uh, the appropriate stuff there to take care of it. So, like, we ended up having a good talk and getting along real well, and uh, he talked to my boss, told my boss I was an okay cat. And so it turned, actually, a problem into uh, my boss seeing me as kind of like a valuable member of a team because some things are going to go wrong and when things go wrong you're going to want somebody that steps up to the plate and, and tries to make, make it right. Um, but on the flip side of that, Dev, I've, always, I've steadily tried to work my way up to working for larger and larger organizations. Um, so actually I was, I was in a meeting recently and someone was talking to me about uh, wouldn't it feel good if you could have this training and wouldn't it feel good if you could do these things um, that would benefit uh, um, you know our customer base and benefit your company and I said I said I don't I don't professionally feel good I have like I, I professionally uh, I have a good work ethic I want to do a good job um, but doing a good job a good job here doesn't necessarily make me feel good uh, it's something that I do because I think it's right um, I think that what you're looking for is somebody that uh, not only just wants to pull the cart, but wants to drive the cart, wants to fix the wheels, wants to understand the axle, uh, wants to grease the machinery, wants to help with the loading. When I just want to pull the cart, um, I want to do a uh, I want to do a hard day's work uh, for a good day's wage. And uh, I wish I would have said that a long time ago. I thought there was going to be a fair amount of uproar, and uh, instead. Uh, I mean, the person who talked to me was like taken aback by it, but somebody else like stepped into the plate and said, "Oh yeah, well, we, I mean, we need people like that. I mean, in our organization, uh, people who want to pull the cart, like you said, and pull it hard, uh, and do a good job, um, are kind of our life's blood. And there's you know there's plenty of people that uh, that are interested in more aspects of it. So hey, thanks for your time. And so I got out of that meeting, and they didn't ask me back for another one. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just want to I wanna do a good job, and I want to keep my head down, I don't want to cause trouble, and uh, I want to cash my paycheck, so, so that's how I go about it. Um, though I still try to do uh, uh, as much as I can to make sure that I get along with my bosses and my supervisors and my coworkers, because sometimes, even in uh, a big, big corporation where policies are set in stone, um, 
people having like a, a, a personal professional liking for you sometimes uh, um, sometimes people don't mention it when a rock flips up and breaks a window you know what I mean even though that's even there even though they should so uh, you know you gotta strive to strive to like cultivate that kind of atmosphere where people around you are like kind of looking after you a little bit and if they can't then you gotta step up to the plate and make things right um, but uh, it's always going to be a danger working for a small company because really you could be fired for anything. You could be fired for nothing. Um, and that's why I was asking uh, Mr. LaRuger if he had a union or uh, uh, if he could go through HR and look for like uh, what are their policies regarding because they, he works for a big company and they're going to have firm policies on how their employees are treated. Uh, the smaller the company, the more informal the company. Uh, um, there's, you know, you're gonna have more freedoms, but you're also there's gonna be more dangers. So, so yeah, you gotta you gotta look out for yourself and make sure you take care of business. All right, Dev, see you in tubes.